Hello everyone, and in today's video I will be teaching you how to easily achieve a candy score of 5000 for the spooky festival and gain some valuable Skyblock XP. The key strategy results around using the witch mask, which is quite overpowered. Um, it instantly kills any spooky mobs with an area of effect damage, allowing you to take out multiple mobs at once. This makes a significant difference in your candy score. So here's what you'll need. What you will need is a bat pet. 75 or higher is advised, because at level 75 I was able to get 6.6k score, which is more than enough. So anything above 75 is good. With this pet, you will also need bat person armor. Why? It gives a lot of candy, rare candy and additional candy. This is beneficial for this threat. As well as you will need to reforge your witch mask for even more candy. Once that's done, you will also need to have a lot of space in your uh, backpacks or ender chest to storage all of the candy. Because it's a lot of candy. And you don't want to run with a full inventory and have to sell it to the bazaar or whatever. It's going to be more downtime. But if you have a storage, you will, you will minimize that. Also, you will need about what's on my screen about 1.5k mana which is probably enough to just like TP around to mob to mob and have enough time to kill them all efficiently. But the most important thing is my pumpkin launcher. The pumpkin launcher is a great weapon. For this strat I used about 2.5k lanterns. You get it from the bazaar as well. Um, I can't emphasize enough how valuable this item is. It costs around 50 million coins but you can craft it, uh, which is probably cheaper. The main challenge you'll have to face is the transition between day and night. Because day and night um, kind of works against us in the forest. Why? Because the spooky mobs only spawn at night. Meaning you will have 10 minutes of uh, grinding outside of the forest, which will be the spider's den. Why? Because a lot of spiders, a lot of mobs means a lot of candy. So. What you'll have to do is in the spider's den, you'll have to spam with your pumpkin launcher all of the, the, the spiders and you just TP through the den, kill all of the spiders, or even if you have a hype or a scepter or anything that deals AoE damage will be very useful for like a, a, a group of spiders. And when the day switches back to night, you just go switch lobbies again and you go to a forest where you just spam all the mobs yet again and you just kill them spam spam and the bats will also do its work make sure you just use a bat a witch mask in the forest and a person helmet in the den make sure you spam a lot with the pumpkin launcher it's a great weapon don't try to be cheap or anything just spam the hell out of it it's crazy how much candy you get from it so just spam it as much as you can and you'll get more than 5k candy score. Something you have to keep in mind that you can't open any chests while you're doing this. Because chests actually don't give you any candy score. So it is downtime. So if you don't have 5k score yet, or you're confident enough to get 5k, core, uh, 5K score in the amount of time left, you could open chests. But in the beginning, I advise you not to open any chests and just focus on all the mobs. Some of you may be curious about the profits I made during the spooky festival, and I'll share them with you. So, in the total hour, I made 35 million coins. Where 70 million coins came from purple candy, 5 million coins came from green candy, vampire, vampirism book uh, was 900k, I made a lot of money from ectoplasm, and 600k from the witch mask, as well as a skelter horse for free mail, and a million coins from the spooky event. Considering the returns, this setup is relatively inexpensive. I highly recommend participating in every spooky festival. That's all for today folks, I hope you took notes and I wish you all the best of luck in earning that Skyblock XP. Hello, I like money.